University of Glasgow, we've developed a new four-week practical on genome editing for students on the genetics and molecular and cellular biology degree programmes. Genome editing has been transformed by the advent of CRISPR technology in the last few years. CRISPR enables scientists to make specific edits in the DNA sequence of cells without causing other random mutations elsewhere in the genome. This has revolutionised our ability to do research into a whole range of biological questions. It also raises the possibility of using genome editing to treat some human genetic diseases, such as cystic fibrosis or even cancer. So the new genome editing lab that we did this semester is focused on CRISPR and using CRISPR to edit cells. I think the students have enjoyed the opportunity to try and do this technique and they've enjoyed having a lot more chances to try PCRs and running gels and from talking to them they seem to be more confident at the end of the four weeks than they were at the start. I think uh, especially in the third year here at Glasgow, the uh, undergraduate practicals are, are very hands-on. They get a lot of experience with different techniques. There's a new practical for the level three undergrads where they get to use CRISPR, the gene editing tool, which I find exciting and I think the students do as well. They're enjoying learning this new technique. In this lab, I think they get good experience of interpreting their data and trying to figure out what happened. If they get a chance to do it again, what would they do differently? Um, it's a good real life experience of research. Yes. We want our students to learn the techniques and skills required to do genome editing in the lab. We also want them to learn about the difficulties and challenges inherent in using such a powerful technology. The students start with cultured mammalian cells that have been engineered to express green fluorescent protein, or GFP. This makes the cells glow green when viewed with a fluorescent microscope. The students transfect the CRISPR system into the cells, and this causes a specific edit in the DNA sequence that codes for the GFP. When the genome editing has been successful, the gene for GFP is disrupted and the cells will not glow green anymore. After two weeks, the cells are ready to be analysed using the microscope. The students also use PCR and DNA sequencing to find out exactly how the DNA sequence has been edited. Genome editing can't be used to treat every genetic disease, and there are still many issues concerning accuracy, efficiency and delivery that need to be addressed. We were using genome editing in our research, and uh, the way we were using it seemed quite straightforward and simple, and um, it's a very exciting technology, and we thought this would be a great idea to try and bring to the undergraduate students because it was something they should know about, it was feasible to do, it was uh, exciting for them. I think the feedback we've been getting has been pretty good. It's been challenging for them. It's difficult for undergraduates to get their heads around the way that real research works and the problems they encounter. And not, everything is not on a plate as perhaps they've been used to up until now. So there's lots of problem solving and questions that they need to ask themselves. We're trying to engender a state of mind where they question themselves, they question their techniques, they try to solve their own problems and come up with solutions because that's what would happen in a real research environment. I'm really enjoying third year because uh, you get a bit more specialisation so the lectures are harder and go into more depth than they do in first and second year. I find the lab really interesting because we got the chance to think about our results. The demonstrators were very accommodating when we had an idea and wanted to try something extra. For example, we weren't given cell lines that didn't express GFP, but when we asked for them, one of the demonstrators arranged them for us. So that was quite nice. And it just looks amazing under the microscope, so. We are helping our students develop the skills and expertise they need to be part of this genome editing revolution driving transformation in healthcare, agriculture and biotechnology in the UK and around the world.
Thank you.